Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to enable auditing on Azure database. Let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy one ARM template to enable the database with some sample data and then we're going to enable the auditing on the database. Let me just pause the video and come back. Here it is. I am going to create a new resource group. This is the name I am going with East US. Just to make it unique. And I will click on purchase. Deployment is in progress. I'm going to pause the video and come back as soon as it is done. Okay, the deployment is done. I'm going to click on go to resource group. It will take me to the resource group and I'm going to click on this SQL server that I have provisioned. And let me see if there are any database. Okay, I have this database as well. Wonderful. So the deployment was successful. Now if I go back to my SQL server, here it is and under settings under security you see auditing here, click on auditing. It says auditing. By default it is set to off. Click on on. Audit log destination. You click on storage storage details storage account if you don't have one you will get an option to create one click on create new name it anything but unique standard LRS click on OK it is submitting the deployment to create the storage account I have gone with the default option of uh, general purpose v1 you can go with general purpose v2 as well I've gone with the LRS you can change the replication method later after the creation of a storage account or if you want to change it from here you can click on this drop down and you will get an option to select the replication type so this deployment in progress is about the storage account that is getting deployed to store the logs that we will enable as part of the auditing the deployment has been succeeded and now it says retention days how for how many days you want to retain the logs you can type in one two and let's see what is the maximum number of days okay you get an option the maximum is three to eight five days storing access key primary secondary let's say you want to keep it for zero days click on ok and then you can click on save it will save your settings so now you have enabled the auditing and now you are the log destination the audit log destination is the storage account that you create and if you want to store it in the log analytics workspace you can cl click on here it says configure the log analytics workspace you have the default workplace Select it or if you don't want one you can create a new one here as well the name Or the subscription the resource group and the location of your log and the pricing data that you want to select Let's say Name it anything This is your resource group location you can East US pricing tier Pay as you go, you click on OK, you click on OK here. So it now will initialize the deployment to deploy the log analytics workspace in the East US region. The deployment has been succeeded. The logs would be submitted to the log analytics workspace as well. And if you want to send it to Event Hub, 
you can configure the event hub here i don't have one so the namespace i don't have a namespace here so you have to create one then you will get that option under the drop down then you can click on save here as well click on auditing and you will get the options and now if you want to review the audit logs now if you would go to your sql database okay i'm gonna have to uncheck it and save it it has saved the settings go out from here now go to your sql databases this is my database and under security i go to auditing now i'm doing this on my database level not on the server level so the auditing looks off here but it is set on the underlying server uh, level so it is turned on for this database now if you will click on view audit logs no audit logs are here so here you will review the output of the audit logs of the database including any attempted sql injections since this is a test database created recently there will be minimal audits if any in the log at the current time and one thing to note here is that if server auditing is enabled the database configured audit will exist side by side with the server audit Notice that you can select for audit logs to be written to an Azure storage account to a log workspace for consumption by Azure monitor logs or to an event hub. So this is what I wanted to cover in the auditing for the log section or for the database section. I hope you liked it. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.